All right, so here is my filters. If you guys want to screenshot this, how far into the stream are we? We're at 18 minutes. So we're going to remind people to come to 18 minutes. This is my Prem uh, La Liga filter for the SBC template. Now, you can change this and tweak it however you want. It doesn't have to be exactly like I have it. I'll explain why I have stuff, and then I'll show you how I complete it. Um, did it reset on me? Okay, we're going to go through this for the first time, I guess. It reset. GG. All right, so I like to do Prem first. I'll do 75 rated to, let's say, 83 rated. Um, you can put in 84 rated if you want. It's really up to you. I'll do high to low uh, for the Prem. And then for La Liga, I'll go low to high. That way it gives us a good mix of the rating. Um, I'll put gold on because uh, I don't really want lower rated stuff for this. Uh, league, we're going to do Prem. And then the most important ones, player count. Um, I usually do 11. Um, I do 11 for each. That way I have some bench players as well. Uh, max players from the same club, put a one in there. This is the most important thing. You want to make sure that you guys aren't using multiple people from the same club. And the beauty of Pale Tools is Pale Tools is going to search through your club for all your prime players if you put in this filter. It's only going to put one of each. So it's going to find those higher rated ones and it's going to go one of each. Uh, which makes it really easy to complete and make sure you're getting the rating. Um, I do ignore player positions. Doesn't matter what position they're in. That's going to be important. Otherwise, it's only going to put on players uh, that could fit a cam, CDM. That's not as important. Second one we're going to add, we're going to go the opposite way. So we're going to go low to high. We're going to go 75 rated. It's 83 rated. Player count 11. It's supposed to be La Liga. Sorry. I didn't even catch that. Put the screenshot in again. Sorry for messing up. It's supposed to be La Liga, the men's league. Yes, you can't use the woman. I thought I was using the men's. Got a little confused there. Thank you for catching that. I'm an idiot sometimes. And by sometimes, I mean all the time. Uh, so you just move this around. We have the 79 rated. You only necessarily need four rares. So this might be a little overkill. Uh, but for me, if it works, it works. I'm not going to worry about it too much. And just like that, very quickly, we have the chem needed. So, again, if you want to come into the bench, maybe, I could chuck in a 78 rated for an 82. See if I could get away with that. Just to keep the rating higher for next time. Sweet. That's it. Submit it. Boom. You got a small rare gold players pack. Now, a couple different ways you can do this. If you want to wait until the end to have all the packs and open it, by all means, feel free to do so. But if you are low on coins, low on fodder, this is going to help you out because you have a pack after every one you make that you can open that can help for the next one. So if I did this one, as you see here, um, I got a League One card. I got a Serie A card. I can use those. Breda is a dupe from Lib, so we can use him. Um, and we even got a Leno dupe. I'm actually going to put these into here. Get rid of him real quick. All right, so now we're going to go to the next section. Now we got the Serie A and we got the Bundesliga. So here, we only need a 77 rated. It's a little bit lower than the 79. We can get away with using some lower rated stuff. Um, and we will try that for the sake of this one. So we're going to do the same thing as before, relatively, a little different. I'm going to put a minimum. Um, this time is open. I'm going to do a max of 83. That means if I want to use some bronzes and silvers, I'm able to. If for some reason you still want to have a minimum here, you can chuck in like, I don't know, a 60. Maybe not like a super low. Maybe put like a 62, 63. Really up to you. We're going to do the same thing. Max from one club, 11 players use. And for this one, we're going to do... Let's do Bundesliga on the high end. Ignore position. And then we're going to go the opposite direction here. We're going to go low to high. Player count max from one club ignore position we're going to do syria so if we do it like this realistically we're going to have players start getting filled in high end for bundesliga which will help us hit that requirement and then on our bench slash other part of the team we'll have lower end cards from syria that will be able to be used to kind of get that for us boy how's it going today buddy um so if you guys want to screenshot that 
Here it is. I used the men's leagues this time. I didn't mess up. We got it. So we hit save there. We're going to show you what this looks like. So if I go back into it. Oh, wrong one. If I go back into it, hit T. I have a 79 rating. So as you see here, this one's a little bit overkill. I do have some bench people if we want to use them. But I'm going to start moving some stuff around to see if we can get the chem. Uh, do we have the chem? We have the chem already. So now I'm going to see how many rares do we need? We only needed three rares. We have one, two, three in there. So I could use maybe this one and get rid of an 80, 83. As you see there, boom, we got that completed. So that's awesome. I didn't have to really spend anything there. If you did have to spend for a card or two, uh, the way you can kind of calculate if you're making a profit not on this is just kind of off the quick sell value. So we open this up. We have uh, 270 here and then 2,278 here. So essentially, um, what was that? Around 2,500 coins. You're realistically not spending 2,500 coins to finish that section, um, nor did I really spend any coins to finish the prem. So off of those two, we are technically in profit. Now, if you want to maximize your coins, you can list every single one of these, um, especially the gold commons. The gold rares, you might have a difficult time selling unless it's needed for an Evo. But if you guys are extremely low on coins and you're trying to maximize, the difference between quick selling this for 273 and trying to get it listed and sell for 400 could add up very quickly. So for my sake, I'm just going to quick sell it. I don't need it. Um, boom, we got some coins back. Now we go to the other two, the most difficult ones. Uh, Luke, what's up, buddy? We're going to go to the Lib in Sud first because this one is going to be the harder one to explain. So we'll walk through it. And then we'll do League One and Air to end. So this one, um, we'll go through the requirements real quick. Liber Sud players needed. Uh, players from one club, max of one. Golds, minimum of three. Rares, pro tip. Any Lib card, regardless of its rating, is a rare. So you just need three Lib cards minimum, which we end up using for our Golds anyways. Uh, team rating, minimum of 74. Total chemistry, minimum of 10. Uh, players from the squad, 11. This one, you can kind of mess around with a little bit. I like to filter in different ways. So does it necessarily need to look the way I do? No, you can tweak it to your liking. But this is what I find to be useful. So what I start with is I start with the gold cards. So I do 75 rated. I'll do up to 81. I believe the highest rated is a 79, which is the Cavani. Uh, but the reason I'm doing this, and I'm going to do rarity, you can do league as well. Comedy Bowl Libertadores, Comedy Bowl Sudamericana will show up as a rarity and a league. It's up to you which one you want to use at the end of the day. Um, your call. We need three rares. So I'm going to have three cards. Max players from one club. One, um, 75 to 81. So it's going to fill in three gold cards from the Libertadores. After that, I'm going to do... Let's see. I probably don't want the highest rated in the world, but I also don't want the lowest rated. So if I do... Uh, max of maybe 74, so we only use silvers, and then maybe a minimum of, I don't know what sounds good, maybe 68, we'll test kind of 68 there, we're going to do the Sudamericana cards, that way we can use different teams, it's a different league, and we're going to go, we could go low to high, if you do high to low and you're stocked in your club, this is going to be a lot more difficult, we're going to ignore player positions for that one, um, we need eight more players, max from the same club, one. And then we're going to make a third option. And since we only use three lib cards, we probably have a lot of lib cards still in our club from different teams that we could use. I'm going to do a similar thing here. I'm going to do 68 to 74 rated um, for lib cards. We're going to put some stuff on the bench. So does it need to be another 11? Not really. We're going to put like an eight there. Max players from one club, one. Ignore positions. Um, if you wanted to do low to high, high to low, you could do the same thing like we did for the Serie A Bundesliga. You could have one low to high, one high to low. That way, if the high ratings for the Sudamericana takes it way over that 74 rating that you need, our bench with the Libertadores cards, that should hopefully be a different team than the ones up here, will help out a ton. So we're going to put that in. There we go. It is now in. Hit submit. What do we got? 
73 rating. Okay. So we need to put in our higher rated lib, which we did there. That got us to 74. Now we're just short the chemistry. So now we move them around, get them to the right positions. Left back in there. There we go. Chemistry is given. So as you see, very quick to get through. I had a lot of lib and sud cards in our club that we bid on. Like I said, you can bid on a bunch of silvers. I'll show you kind of the method we use for bidding um, after we're done with this. Uh, but most of you will probably already have a lot of lib and sud anyways in your club from the daily bronze upgrade, the daily silver stuff um, on the menus. Uh, but we'll go over the bidding filter in a second. So that one's done. Prime election players pack. We'll open that up. This one's an 80 plus guaranteed, I believe. As you see here, we got an 82, some 81s, some more League SBC cards, which is nice. And then we got a dupe Spina. I'm going to just quick sell that. And now to the final one to get this done. We have the League One in Air Divis. So this one for a lot of you is going to be the most difficult along with the Lib and Sud. We're going to make this very easy for you. So League One or Air Divis, players from the same club, minimum six. Rare players, minimum two. Team rating, 68. Total chemistry, 10. We're going to make this very simple. So if I go to edit template, I'm going to start with, let's do 75 to 81. You could do like an 82. I'm going to just put in five players from League One. If you guys are doing the exchange method, if you're doing League SBCs, if you're doing Team of the Week player picks, you're going to get fodder in a bunch of different ways. You're going to probably have a lot of gold commons at least, if not some gold rares from League One. We're going to do... Doesn't really matter if they're from the same team or not. Uh, you could do low to high. Your call here. We're going to put those in. And then I'm going to do here six players from the Air Divis. Now, this is where... Can I see your team? In a second, buddy. We're going over tutorial. This is where it will differ for a lot of you guys. You might have a single team or two that you guys want to use. Like I talked about, I have a bunch of different ones that I run through. Um, and I can keep switching it as we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here. We'll do Vitesse as the first one. Um, if you did want to do a max here, something to note, there might be promo cards or um, random cards that you have in your club that are higher rated or maybe were something that you used in an Evo at some point that might show up if you don't put anything here or you do any quality type or rarity. So what I like to do is I'll usually do a max, like a max 80. That way, like Team of the Weeks too, you don't accidentally put like an Air Divis Team of the Week in. Um, you could do low to high, high to low. really doesn't matter there. As long as we're ignoring the position, we're good to go. We got six from Team Vitesse. And then what I'll do is when I want to use another team, I'll just come in here and edit this to whatever team I want to use next. So if we have that in, screenshot that if you don't have it. I'm going to back out, go back in. If I hit T, we use building the template. As you see here, we have all the cards needed for this. We just need the chemistry now. So we'll move them around. Got it left back. And just like that, we're good to go. That wasn't too difficult. That wasn't too bad. We get a jumbo gold pack, which if you look at the quick sell value is really nice. Um, and then the prime gold at the end. We're going to start with the jumbo gold pack. Just from a quick sell value, look at how many coins we get back. 3,400 plus there. And then another 300 plus for duplicates. So we're basically close to 4,000 coins if I just quick sold everything. But like I talked about, you can list this stuff to get more. Um, you can always look at kits, um, see if they go for anything. Sometimes you might have a very popular kit that goes for more. I know some people put on something with Pale Tools where they can see the minimum price for each item. Uh, we talked about manager contracts where manager contracts usually will sell. Um, you could try it with player contracts too. I'll probably end up doing that. We'll chuck some of these in the club. Try to sell those later. We got a Premier League. I'm assuming the Premier League has at least some value. I'll list that for maybe like 500 coins later. Uh, but for me, I'm a quick sell the rest. Just get the coins back. I'd try to sell the Celtic kit if I were you guys. Uh, but as you see there, boom. We got over 3,000 coins for that one. Let's say low end 3,000. Then over 2,000 for the other one. So... That SBC alone, we made over 5,000 coins back, whatever we spent. So if we bought the six players, most of them for 200 coins for that Vitesse team, we didn't spend much to get the SBC done. You could indicate 
uh, that we bought maybe some of the gold lib cards, especially if we didn't already have them in our club. Those would be like the things that would be a purchase for you. But like we were discussing with a menu grind, you're going to get those in different ways. If you end up getting a Casemiro 89 rated and you put them in an 89 exchange, most likely you're going to get a gold lib at some point. So now we'll go over the bidding filters quick um, and then we'll kind of end it there and just get back into our normal grind. Um, but yeah, what I like to do is I like to have transfer lists as well. I'll have a couple other versions of the high-end lib cards that we use. So as you see here, I have the Fernandez again. I can just chuck them in my club. Um, I didn't even use them for that one. I got the Cavani I can chuck into my club. I got the Perez. I didn't even use the Perez either. Jeez. So we have higher rated stuff that we can use the next time. But normally, if we don't have a lot of gold libs in our club, we'll use the same three over and over. Once I complete it, we'll come grab it off the transfer list. Uh, we'll put it in our club and be able to use it again. Um, so the bidding filters, these are the two things. This is going to be different than if you're on console. So if you're on console, this doesn't work. And if you're wondering why it doesn't work, it's just the way um, I think it's coded on the game. So we're going to go quality silver. We're going to go league Sudamericano start. If we go to league Sudamericana, every single card that pops up here will now be between 65 rated Sudamericana and 74 rated. If we go to buy now, 200 buy now, you can kind of scroll through if you want. If you see a card that's 70 rated and over, you can maybe buy it for 200 buy now. That's one way you can do it. The way I like doing it is I'll just do a max bid of 150 and I'll come in here and if I can bid 150 to 200 coins on a 70 plus rated card, I'll go ahead and do that. Um, I really don't care what team it's for. I'll just mass bid on kind of everything I see. But if you guys are trying to maximize kind of using your coins for the lib said section, I would make sure you're bidding on different teams, like I said, uh, so that you can use it in the same solution. Um, and if you're bidding on lib cards, I'd make sure you're bidding on different teams than the golds you're using because you can only have one per each team. So I'll go through. I'll kind of pick up some that I see on bid. Oh, that guy bought it for 200. Oh, no, we did. Sorry to the club. I see a 73 rated here. That'll be nice. Um, and what you'll notice too is once you start getting a lot of duplicates, like I have all these duplicates on this list right here, you can kind of pay attention to that and stay away from those teams. So if I was bidding on libs right now, I have a lot of this Compass guy, so I'm going to stay away from his team. Um, this one with that shield looking thing right there. I'm going to stay away from that team. I know, I think there's a gold player from this team. Probably should stay away from him unless I'm using a different gold card. Those are things you just kind of pick up on over time. But like I said, if you can pick up those libs for 250 to 300 coins for the 70 plus rated and then 150 to 200 for the Sudamericana, you should be good to go. Also, too, if you guys are getting low on gold rares uh, from the Bundesliga and Serie A and you still need that rare requirement for that 77 rated section, uh, what I normally do is I will occasionally buy some bronze rares and silver rares and sometimes even silver commons, too, from those leagues on different teams. That way, we just have stuff ready to go. Uh, you don't necessarily need to do that. It just makes it a ton easier. So that is that. Um those are the biddings. That is essentially it. So what I'll do real quick is I'll come back into here and we'll do it again. This time we'll just do it a little faster. So prime goal players back at the end. We got an 87 out of that. I could put Luca into an 87 exchange. Gets us more golds. Um, I got a dupe there. The dupe ends up being uh, David Garcia. We can use him in the section of the SBC. So put him in there rest from different teams we got the rating that's way overkill we don't need all that rating we're going to move things around until we get the chem so if i did striker cdm okay so we got the chem now what i might do is try to get less rating so we could do that 80 rated that's good enough for me Oh, no. You know what? Maybe Anthony would take off. Do we have enough rares? We do. So, boom. We got that done a lot quicker that time, as you see. We had a lot of untradables in our club from the packs we opened. Open that up. Got an 84. Got some more League SBC cards. That'll be nice. We got a dupe from the Prem. So, when this happens, there's a couple different things you can do. 
I have enough golds in my club where I can put this dupe um, back into another pack. We just did the Premier League section, so I can't really use that until we get the other ones done. I'm gonna just chuck it in a 79 triple. Now, make sure if you guys are trying to maximize um, what you're using in your club, if you're doing League SPCs, I would maybe try to use things that are not League SPC cards. So as you see here, um, I got a Bundesliga in there. I should probably remove that one. Uh, that one's a Serie A. I should probably remove that, but I'm not gonna be uh, that exact. And there we get a 79 plus times three. You could open that up. It could get you some higher rated gold rares from those top leagues that you could put back into league SBCs. And you just do that over and over. So now we do the Serie A, Bundesliga. Uh, we don't have the rating now. We're a little low. So if I chuck in, let's say the goalkeeper here, still doesn't get us it. Um, what else could we chuck in? Can we chuck in... That's a 77. Now we just need the chem. Move them around. Boom. Got it done. Tradable pack now. Open that up. We didn't have to spend any additional coins at that point. Um, if you wanted to count the cost of maybe some of those silvers, if some of those were tradable, maybe 150 to 200. But in return, what do we get? 2,500 coins, essentially, if we quick sold everything. Things like Tamari, I'm going to list. Um... If I were you guys, again, I'd list everything that it's gold common and try to get at least 400 for it. Uh, is this the best method to make coins? This is for if you guys are getting low on the menu grind and want to work your way back up. An easy way to make yourself packs and make coins at the same time. Um, so yeah, we go back in. We'll do this again. Boom. We got everything in there needed. We'll move some of this around. We got the rating. What else can I do? that's that's and boom prime election players back and now we're down to the league one air to this is the last one you see how quick we're going through this a lot faster than the first time through we got another 84 and 83 some more league SBC cards that'll be useful um, these dupes I could use them in something I'm just gonna quick sell them for the sake of time and then the final one again league one air to V's I'm going to edit the template now. So I had Vitesse is what I used last time. Haravine's a team I know I have. We're going to use them instead. Put that in. Boom, boom, boom. Move the players around until we get the cam. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, the league SBC done, but even quicker this time. Thoughts? I do Italy managers go for anything. No, maybe not. Um, do you quick sell the gold players from the league SBC cards? Anything tradable you should sell for players. And if you're extremely low on coins, you should try to maximize the amount of coins you make on it. For me, right now, I'm not doing that because I'm just showing you this video. Um, how to get them done quickly. But in theory, you should list it try to get to sell even if it's a card for league sbcs like if you got a la liga gold common in theory you wouldn't want the tradable one because you already have an untradable one in your club that you can use uh, if you end up being low on cards and you want to save the occasional one i guess it doesn't hurt to do that um but then again at the end of the day that's your call i would just try to maximize your coins and use your untradables what's up shiny but no, does anyone have any questions? I'm going to hop off of League SBCs here in a second, but um, any kind of questions off the rip on kind of using pale tools for that. So even if it's a gold con from the Prem, we should sell quick sell? Yes, because in theory, you want to make the coins that you can buy whatever cards you need because in theory, you already have an untradable one from that league. But again, if you're low... And you really need that card. One, you're in a bad position if you really need the card. But you can, I guess, keep it if you want and sell the rest. It's really up to you. Um, something, too, to note. The more golds you get rid of. So, like, the Serie A. It's now getting into some of the uh, bronzes. If you want to avoid that, 
make sure you're filling up your club with more gold. So if I did that 87 Modric into an exchange, that would have helped me a ton get more of kind of this middle ground. If I keep just using what's in my club, it's going to get lower and lower rated as we go. Um, so that's something just to keep in mind. Um, can I get anything else in here? Center back. Right mid, left mid, striker. There we go. That'd be our sub, buddy. Another tradable pack there. Tradable, mine on, so I'm going to list them. So that's more coins there. Me, personally, I'm quick selling the rest, but you guys should list. And now we're down to the final ones again. So, like I said, if I just used some of these, I can chuck them back in my club. So, Fernandez I'll put back in. Um, I believe we used Cavani as well. And Perez. Uh, sorry, but please explain the grind to me. Rewind the stream. Um, we just went over the step-by-step -step grind for the past 20 minutes. Um, if you want to see that for League SBCs on Pale Tools, if that's what you're asking. So three rated there. We're going to have to get another one. Um, did it not use? Wait, hold on. That's stupid. Why didn't it use the higher rated ones? Nah, it wants me to fail, dude. That's why we weren't hitting it. I was looking at the rating. I was looking at the cards we had in there. I was confused why we didn't have enough. Um, so, do we have all different teams now? We do. We just need the cab. Okay. Um, CDM. There we go. That one's done. Uh, just got, if you guys just got here, rewind the stream and watch. I'm not going to repeat it because we just went through everything for the past 20 minutes. Um, if you guys are wanting to see the template, we went over every single thing you needed for the template. I can, once I'm done with this one, show the templates one more time. So you can screenshot the exact template for each one. If you already know how you want to do it on Pale Tools and you just want the specific template, we can do that. But I'll only do it once because we're not going to show it 100 times. 